If I was to ask you your favorite food, I know pizza would be in the top three. Because pizza is definitely in my top three. Who doesn't love pizza? But try this twist, the Thrive Twist. We're gonna do a Dutch oven pizza using our country white bread. Thrive toppings, our mozzarella cheese, our sausage, our peppers, our onions, and our tomato sauce, okay? But we're not gonna just cook it in the oven. We're gonna cook it in a Dutch oven. We're calling this baby deep dish pizza. So this deep dish Italian style pizza, first, we're gonna start off with our white country bread mix. So, if I was to go camping or if I was on my horse, I would just put it in a Ziploc bag so it's easy to mix. Um, when you put it in the bag, you can mix it in a bowl. You can, if you have power, if you motorhome, trailer, or whatever, you can certainly just mix it in a KitchenAid or in a stand mixer that can easily make the dough, or you can just mix it by hand. We're gonna add our country white bread flour Okay, we're gonna make a little puddle right into the center with our water. We're gonna sprinkle our yeast over the water like so. This is instant yeast, so it actually reacts instantly when it hits the water. Okay, so get all your yeast in. Then, once you have all that product in there, I just give this a light stir to get it mixed in. Once you have the water absorbed, then you can take it to your bench. Now, if you're out camping and you don't have a table, all you really need is a, is a cutting board or a, or a small, clean work surface to get this bread kneaded. So then you just simply fold this in until dough starts to form. Continue to knead, capturing all the excess flour, and it should all combine together. And you want to continue to stretch out the gluten or the dough, the protein in the dough, so that it makes that delicious, white bread that we love. Once it's combined together in this, in this form or shape, you want to be able to knead this for approximately five minutes. And you've got it kneaded, form it into a ball, like so. I always put just a little bit of oil on the top from helping it get dry skin put just a little bit of oil in the bottom of my bowl and then pop your dough right in here cover it with a little plastic and let this dough rise until at least double fortunately I've already done that now look you can make the dough say you're going on a quick quick campfire or a quick overnight or you're just having people over and you want a Dutch oven cook outside in the, in, on the patio that's fine. Get the dough made ahead of time. This dough has already raised by double. It's ready to go for pizza. And so what we're going to do is start to, to roll this out. Now this dough will cut and make at least two 12 inch pizzas. We're gonna make one big 14 inch pizza. This is a 14 inch Dutch. Um, so I'm just gonna cut it in half, but you can, you probably can, depending on how thick you want your dough, you can probably get three 12 inch pizzas and, and, and probably two 14 inch pizzas, depending just again on how thick you want your dough. So I'm just gonna cut this guy in half today. And then we're gonna just shape this into a little ball. Okay. We're gonna have just a little bit of flour right on top and a little bit of flour right on our pin. And then we're just gonna roll this dough out. You can see how nice that dough is. So I'll just keep turning it and working it. If you're really good and you want to be creative, you can throw it in the air and see if it'll stretch too. All right, now we're gonna let that dough rest for a minute. While the dough's resting, we have a small pot. We're gonna show you how simple and easy it is to make the sauce for the pizza. Clearly and, and simply, this sauce could be pre-made ahead of time. But it doesn't take much effort at all. All you have to do is put a little bit of garlic in a pan, let that sweat just for a minute, get a little flavor on it. My pan has been preheated. It's got a little bit of moderate heat to it. We're gonna put just a tiny bit of olive oil in there. And just let this garlic kind of sweat, kind of flavor the bottom of that pan. 
Simply add your water, deglaze that garlic, and then take a whisk and literally whisk in the tomato sauce. This tomato sauce is a powder we sell in our sauce line. We're gonna take a little extra basil, freeze dried herbs, and put in this sauce as well. Give that a little live, liven up. Okay, now we're pretty much ready. In addition, you're gonna wanna take your peppers, your sausage, and your onions. You're gonna wanna reconstitute these with just enough water to get them soft and, and uh, flavorful and delicious again. You can put a little seasoning, you can put a little olive oil in there using the marinating method to, to, to increase flavor in those uh, freeze dried products as well. We also have fried mozzarella cheese. Look how delicious this cheese reconstitutes. It's, it's, it's amazing. Our sauce has come to a simmer. We've had time to let those flavors come together. Remember, the flavors are already there. The sauce mixes don't take long. They're pretty much instant sauces and instant deliciousness right there in the Thrive Pot. Now we're ready to build our pizza. Okay, so we're gonna take our Dutch oven and we're actually gonna get this preheated. We're gonna put some oil in it, then we're gonna go ahead and put our dough in and make that dough fit right in there deliciously and then we'll build the pizza. Let this preheat. Okay, once the Dutch oven gets hot, you can do this on a camp chef. You can do it right over the coals. You can do it on your gas burner stove. Either way, it doesn't matter, but you want to make sure that that iron gets hot before you put the dough in so that that crust can get thrivalicious. So we're going to put the oil in, and then we're going to put the, get, get the pizza dough right in there like this, and push it up on the sides. Okay, you can see that's a good, good fit. So about half that dough fits perfectly in a 14. And you can make the dough a little thicker, a little thinner, depends on what you want. All right, now we're gonna take, um, I've got a little garlic and oil here, garlic and olive oil. I like to just brush, especially the, the crust with this garlic oil, kind of get that all over that. Mm, are you kidding me? Giddy up. Garlic or olive oil all over that crust, okay? Then I like to sprinkle just to give it a little turn up, a little bit of the seasoning. All right, then pretty much you're ready to build the pizza like a standard pizza. Take some of your sauce, put right on the pizza itself, and you can be surprised a little sauce goes a long ways on a pizza. You want enough sauce but not too much. So you basically just want a nice, thin layer right over the dough. If you feel like you need a little bit more, just go ahead and sprinkle. Now, this one's gonna be more like a pie. So we're gonna actually put the toppings, we're gonna put the toppings on um, first, then the cheese, and kinda make a pizza pie. So we're gonna sprinkle our onions, and our Thrive sausage, and our Thrive bell peppers all over this pizza. And the main thing is, is you want to spread it out evenly, okay? Now we're going to sprinkle a little bit of our, a little bit of olive on there. And this is optional. You can pretty much put whatever toppings you want. But I love olives. And they add a great flavor, great texture to pizzas. And then we're going to put pepperonis evenly dispersed on here as well. Ooh. Spread those babies out. We have our peps. Once we have the peps down, my kids go crazy over these pepperonis. Okay, now for one of the coolest parts of the whole pizza is our Thrive Mozzarella Cheese. Look at that wonderful cheese. We have this pizza ready to go in the oven. It's delicious, it's ready to go. You can see it's preheated. It's losing some of its heat, but at least we had that initial start. We put the lid right on and we do, we repeat that with coals on the bottom and coals ringing the top. 
This oven though needs about 415 degrees. So you gotta crank up the coals, you gotta put more down, and then you're gonna get that beautiful caramelization on the bottom and the top. Remember, quarter turn the lid so that it's good even cooking. And don't peak too early. I know you're gonna wanna see it, but wait at least 15 minutes for perfect caramelization. Our second pizza dough, we actually just put in a skillet and put in the regular household oven. You can see how delicious and beautiful it is. So either way you want to do it is going to work out fine for you. See how easy that pie comes out? Delicious. Go ahead, cut that up. And you have yourself a delicious deep dish pizza pie right here in the Thrive Kitchen, our Thrive Kitchen to your Thrive Kitchen, fresh deep dish Italian style pizza. Hope you enjoy this recipe as much as we have. We've already eaten the Dutch oven one.